Hi everybody, Judy Tuttle here from Tuttle Up Stamping. Nice to have you with me today. Thanks for joining in. I am making some beautiful cards, three beautiful cards, using the Everyday Detailed, uh, Everyday Details bundle from the mini catalog. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a little bit. While people are jumping on, I'm gonna go over here to my computer, make sure that I can see you okay and that we're all online. Um, there we go, looks like we're good. Um, good afternoon, I hope that you are doing well. Um, it is a beautiful clear day in Midland, Texas, but a bit cold for us. We're in the 30s. Um, I know that doesn't compare. I'm not trying to have a contest with any of you out there because I know a lot of you are way colder and dealing with some bad weather right now. So um, I'm not trying to um, enter a contest about the weather, but um, it is beautiful, clear sky, sunny, but just a bit cold today. So um, I, I'm wrapped up in my warm little sweater that I bought when I went to Norway last year, and I'm all warm and cozy in my craft room, ready to show you uh, my beautiful cards that I made today using the Everyday Detail dies. Um, before we start, I have some great classes coming up. I have a Flight and Airy card class. Um, that class uses the beautiful, let me find it here for us, Flight and Airy Designer Series Paper. You guys know this one because it is gorgeous. Um, it's one of the celebration papers, but I have secured enough to do a class with it. I'm excited to um, create eight beautiful cards with you. You'll get a kit to make eight cards using this paper. Um, and uh, some paper, some embellishments, some ribbon, everything that you need to create eight beautiful cards. So registration is open right now for that. If you're on my email list, hi Sherry, you might think that that registration is closed. That's because I was silly and thought the deadline was last Sunday, but it's really this coming Sunday. So, hi, Mary. Thanks for joining us. 31 degrees in North Dakota. That's that's not bad for you guys in February, is it? You're in a little heat wave right now. So, um, anyway, I'm going to move my camera down as you guys are jumping on, but I will be able to see you over here on my computer. So, no worries about that. Let me... Uh, do some switching around here. Nope, need to go one more time that way. There we go. Okay, so um, first things first is that I want to show you guys some beautiful cards I've gotten in the mail since we met last week. Um, I think some of them came last Monday, um, but I didn't know they were here yet because I hadn't checked the mail. And, oh, thank you. Thanks, Brenda. I'll see you in a little bit. I need to head up your way for a meeting this afternoon. So, um, okay. So, I'm going to show you some of the cards I've gotten in the mail. So fun. This is a sweet Valentine card um, using the Adoring Hearts Bundle. This was sent to me by Debbie McNeil. Um, and, look, it's a cute, one of those cute stand-up trifold cards. Love you more. Isn't that sweet? Really a super simple design. Then of course there's a panel in the back to write something on. So thank you Debbie for sending me that card. I love it. I love it. One of my favorite Valentine cards I've seen yet. Okay, this was sent to me by Jen Chow and I accidentally dripped some water on it. So this bee was actually perfect and adorable. But she used that accordion fold design that I showed you guys, I think one of the first or second of my 31 days of Facebook Live series. And it says, happy your sweetest honey birthday. Isn't that cute? Mine opened this way, but she created it to open this way. Um, I love that card, so, so fun. Next, I have a card from my friend Sue Thomas, and look how this one opens, like an accordion as well. Isn't that super cute? And it says, wishes for a beautiful birthday. So thank you, Sue. 
Sue is usually watching with us here. I might have to recreate this cart, Sue. I really love the design of that. Isn't that fun? And this is that beautiful garden walk paper um, that was a part of um, the holiday catalog. So that's fun. Thank you, Sue. Um, this one is from my downline, Marie Cleary. Um, she put one of those laser cut butterflies. This is using the lavender suite. And another fun fold card, even a little different than the previous ones. So thank you, Marie, for that beautiful lavender card. I so appreciate it. Um, next, this is a wow card. So one of my team members is the champion, and she might be in here too. Hi, Dana. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, she might be in here today too, um, but you see how thick it is? Um, because it has this belly band to hold it all together, but it says, it's your birthday, and look, you guys, get ready to be wowed. Woo! Like a rainbow of bees pops out of the card. Is that not so, so fun and cute? I will need to learn how to do that. I'll have to ask Kay for the directions, but look, it starts with sweet sorbet and then a uh, pumpkin pie daffodil delight green apple green that looks like azure afternoon that looks like orchid oasis and this one looks like gorgeous grape how cute is that i love 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 this card so thank you Kay, for that one that is definitely a wow card right and then she also Kay, the sweetest woman in the world um, sent me this wiper pop-up card. Those are fun to make. Um, you make my heart buzz and the little bee pops up. Um, and it was a Valentine's Day card. So, so, so cute. I think she fussy cutted one of those little bees out of, um, the designer series paper, which was super fun. So, okay. And then this one was sent to me by Connie Ingram. Um, and look at how cute this is. Wait for it. This has a little pop-up gift bag on the inside um, that you can put a gift card or whatever in. Um, super fun. I'm going to learn how to make that. She was kind enough to send me directions. So this might be one of my um, Flight and Airy cards for the Flight and Airy card class because it is just so cute. I love that. Um, and then... Um, Sherry sent me, no, Terry Green sent me this card from, um, Colorado. And she sent me a sweet little note inside. Isn't that adorable? Um, I love that. Um, Terry, thank you for sharing that with me. And then this one is from Roz, my sweet friend Roz, who's on here right now. Thank you so much. Um, a, a sweet little Valentine card and a special, special note inside. Um, your friendship, Roz, is very, very sweet and valuable to me. Um, I, I want you to know I'm praying for your husband as well. Thank you for sharing um, that information with me as well. Okay, so today's cards, you know, that really is what is so special about my Facebook Lives is that I get connected with people from all over the United States and the world that I normally wouldn't even know. And I think Roz and I have been connected maybe since COVID or before. Um, and she's just been such a loyal watcher and a sweet, sweet person in my life. So, okay. So today, um, I'm going to be using the Softly Stipple. This was out for a little bit, but it's back. Um, designer series paper that's one of the celebration papers. Um, I've used this a lot. I love the colors. I love the prints. Um, so we're going to be focusing on the softly stippled designer series paper. This is um, free with a $50 purchase. You can get this um, designer series paper pack free with that. And then I did use um, this stamp set once in my 31 days of Facebook Lives, but uh, I'm going to do three cards today using this bundle, and I'm actually using 
every single stamp that is in that bundle. So isn't that fun? Um, and these dies, I've showed them to you before, are just amazing. Um, you don't want to miss out on those. I hope that they move them over to the annual catalog because I'm going to be sad when they're gone for sure. Okay, so let me move that aside. So we're still in celebration, you guys. So you can still get this Glass Mat Studio for joining right now for $99. $99 gets you the Glass Mat Studio and $125 of anything you want out of the catalogs. Um, so if you need help with that or you want more information about joining, it really is the best deal and the easiest way to get product for yourself and 20% off for the rest of your life, if you want it to be. <laughs> I think it'll be the rest of my life for sure. Okay, so Everyday Detail Dies. They are these dies that have these really cool um, cutout circles around them, labels. So you get rectangles, you get circles. You saw me use this one. Um, in my 31 days of Facebook Live. So these dies are a must have. I would say a must have. And then this Everyday Detailed Stamp Set, um, just some sweet images with some really nice fonts and sweet um, sentiments as well, okay? So let me put these aside. Um, trying to decide which one to start with because they're all so amazing. None of them are very hard. So I think I'm gonna start with my misty moonlight card here let me put those away that's a little extra or something okay so for the first card we're starting with a base of misty moonlight and it doesn't look like i put a sticky note on this or if i did it fell off but this is four and a quarter by 11 and then scored in the middle at five and a half so it's your regular a2 size card it's just cut long way, so it's going to open up instead of sideways like this, okay? Then, you're going to need two pieces of basic white cut four by five and a quarter. Two pieces cut four by five and a quarter. You're going to need one piece of basic white cut one half by four and a quarter. And then, this is a piece of that softly stippled designer series paper and this is just the one that is the winter wheat um, kind of almost a um, fabric fabric pattern there like the textile pattern the back side of this, this blue floral here but we're going to be using this side and one of the cool things about one of these dies is that it will cut this at the same time it's going to cut a border around the outside that stays on the paper and then it's going to cut a rectangle out of the inside um, that has holes in it as well okay so this is that winter week kind of textile pattern okay super easy card we're going to do some um, blending with some blending brushes with this but before I glue this down I'm gonna take one of my four by five and a quarter pieces of basic white. I'm gonna just lay it on the card here and I'm gonna put that frame over it like that. And it's just gonna give me an idea of where to stamp my vase um, so that it's kind of centered in that rectangle. So I'm gonna use some basic black here Uh, I said basic black. Memento black is what I'm using because I'm blending. When you're using blends, you really want to use Memento black ink. Um, it will not bleed when you use the blend markers with it. Okay, now if I was using regular markers, I would want to use um, the stays on ink. So since I'm blending, okay, and before I put that up, I'm gonna take the inside panel of my card here and grab me just a scratch sheet of something to put underneath it real quick, right here. And I'm just gonna stamp the top part. Good morning, Cindy, how are you and Hazen? 
Um, Mary was on earlier and said it's not too cold there for North Dakota, so um, that's nice. I'm just stamping the top of these flowers onto the inside of the card, right like that, in the corner, okay? All right, now it's time to use some blend, so I'm going to pull this white piece out from underneath that frame. I'm going to set that aside for just a second. And I'm going to start coloring both of these pieces kind of at the same time, okay? So this big flower right here, I'm going to color in. Light Calypso Coral. I always like to kind of outline it in the light color, color it all in, and then add the detail in um, with the dark. Okay, so these little flowers that are coming up here from the center of the vase. I'm also doing a clips of coral. Then I'm going to go over here and copy that same coloring to the inside of my card right here. So my weekend was a blast. Um, I don't know if I could have had a better weekend, honestly, except if maybe my son and his wife were here. Friday night, I got to help with the daddy-daughter dance at our church, and it was so sweet. Had a 50s theme, and so the fathers and the little girls dressed up in 50s attire, um, and just watching those sweet daddies with their sweet little girls was just precious. Um, of course, I got put in charge of the craft table, so they took Polaroids of the dads with the little girls, and then I helped them create a friend out of a um, ice cream sundae kind of um, motif. And it was all, I mean, every, my, my uh, daughter is the children's minister at our church, so they had everything all ready to go there. So now I'm just going back over with the light. But it was fun. The music was fun. Of course, child appropriate. And the girls were just so cute. Um, and their daddies taking them on sweet dates. Some of them had uncles bring them. Some had grandfathers bring them. Um, it was a sweet, sweet night to watch. So that was fun. Okay. So... Um, huh, I don't know, a bunch of balloons just went down the center of my, <laughs> my frame, and I don't know why, but anyway, okay, so that was Calypso Coral, next is, um, Old Olive, so I'm doing each of my leaves here in Old Olive, fun thing about these uh, hand-drawn images is that it gives you the fun of getting to um, color them in whatever colors you want. So um, there we go on that one. I'm going to go over here, do the leaves on my inside piece. Okay, so then Saturday morning, my sister came into town. A friend of hers was celebrating her 60th birthday. It was a surprise. So she came into Midland from Abilene, Texas um, to spend the day with me until the party was that night. Um, and then, um, so we went up to lunch and shopped and, and all of the fun things that sisters get to do with you. Okay, now I'm bringing in Daffodil Delight. And I'm starting with light. Mm, the tip of that light one is a little smushy. I need to get a new Daffodil Delight. Make note of that. Say, Judy, get a new Daffodil Delight. <laughs> Sometimes I get my orders open and start putting things in it, and I forget about some of these essentials that um, I need to reorder. Okay, so there's my light. And then I'm going to bring in... Um, dark in the centers just to kind of give it some depth. Okay. 
And I just realized that I didn't hit my leaves with um, my dark old olive to give it some detail. So let's do that. So that was fun. We went to lunch at one of my favorite places here in Midland. It's called Aldridge Gardens. It is actually a nursery that has a restaurant in it with beautiful foliage and um, ponds with koi fish. It's just a very relaxing and delicious place um, to go eat. So we did that together, did some shopping, um, and then she went to the party and left, went to church with us Sunday and then left right after that. So that was really cool um, that I, she got to stay for a little bit. And then we went to a Super Bowl party last night. And you guys know we are diehard cowboy fans in this house. But our second favorite is the Chiefs um, because my daughter and her husband are big Chief fans. They lived in Kansas City for a while. Um, so, man, what an exciting game last night, huh? They had us on the edge of our seats all night long. So, um, anyway, um, fun night. And the 49ers played hard and did a really, really good job of making it a close game all night long. Okay, so I'm just adding the stems in here. So what'd you guys do over the weekend? You can fill me in on that. Okay, so I'm bringing in now pool party blends and some misty moonlight, just a light one. So for my misty moonlight, um, yeah, Mary and I talked yesterday and she was telling me she's a Chiefs fan too. So that was fun. So I'm adding just some misty moonlight to the edge of this vase like that. I'm gonna grab my light pool party. And I'm going over with my brush tip here. The whole vase. Here we go. Gonna add a little dark. Along some edges here, give it a little dimension. There we go. And then I decided over here on my inside piece, I'm going to just add um, a little pool party around my flowers. I meant to do that in light, so let me grab my light. It's okay that it'll be a little darker there. It'll just be a shadow. I'm just adding a little blue around the bottom here um, to highlight it against the white a little bit. Like that, just on the inside, I decided. Okay, so let's bring back our card base here. This is Misty Moonlight, and I'm going to add this to the inside. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I love doing that sometimes. Um, bringing the outside of the card to the inside in some way. I always try to do that. I think it just adds a little something, something. Okay. Very pretty. Next, I'm just going to add this straight onto my card front here as well with some seal. Put this away for now. Put my markers away. All right. You know what? I forgot to announce who the winner was of the cards from last week. So um, before I forget to do that, I'm going to bring that out real quick. K Wearer, I think is the name. The W I R R E R K Wearer. Um, if that's you, 
let me know your address and I will send you um, those cards from last week. Um, and then this frame is going to go right around the card like that. Does, isn't that pretty? I love these everyday teal, detail dies. Um, makes it so simple to make beautiful frames and labels and all of that sort of thing. Here we go. Ah! Not going to believe what I just did. Just ripped my frame in half. You know what? I'm just going to cut us another one, okay? So let me grab some paper here. I was trying to flip it over to put it on the front of the card, and it ripped on me. So let me grab another piece of that paper right here. Grab my paper cutter. It was cut three and three fourths by five. There we go. I'm going to show you how easy it is to cut this frame. Maybe that happened for a reason. <laughs> Maybe someone out there was like, I don't understand how she cut that frame. Okay, so I've got this, this one that has dots on the inside and on the outside. I'm going to lay that right on my piece of paper right there. I'm going to take a piece of post-it note tape to hold it in place. Post-it note tape can be found on Amazon or um, supposedly at office supply places, but I have not been able to find that. So, here we go. Sorry about that, you guys. It wouldn't be a Facebook Live. So here, do you see how that rectangle just falls out of there? And then we have our border here. Okay, so let me try this again. We're actually pretty close to being done with this card. Let's see, I'm pulling on it there. Okay, so stick it to my fingers. All right, here we go. Adding that frame right around that base right there. There we go. Okay. One half by four and a quarter. Mm, that might be longer than four and a quarter, but we're going to cut it down anyway, so it's fine. I have a piece of basic white that I'm going to put a sentiment on here. And I'm using... This long one that says, you make every day a little brighter. Sweet sentiment. I'm gonna ink it up in misty moonlight. Stamp it right in the center there. Woohoo! Isn't it nice when it like actually comes out the way it should? <laughs> So fun. Okay, so I'm going to just hold it there, and then I'm going to grab my um, scissors and chop it off to match the width of the card there. There we go. Okay, before I put my sentiment down, though, I need to... Grab my twine... in the basic twine pack and this is kind of a, a gray crumb cake kind of color okay so I am gonna wrap this around my fingers and kind of make a faux bow a faux bow um, 
There we go. And a little bit longer, twist it a little bit here. And I'm gonna set that, it's gonna set right here on this corner of my frame. Um, so just to hold it in place for a moment, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Seal Plus right there, press that into it, and kind of fan it out a little bit, and then my sentiment is gonna go right over it, okay? So on the back side of this sentiment right here, I'm gonna add some dimensionals. Okay, I'm trying to leave a little space for that ribbon to go right um, in an empty space so it doesn't make the bump right there. All right. There we go. How sweet is that? Okay, now one last thing to add to this card. I have the embellishments that come from the Celebration catalog as well. This is another thing you can get free with a $50 purchase. This is called Opaque Faceted Gems. And I am using these that are Calypso Coral colored. I'm gonna put one right here. Um, another one right beside it, kind of right there. And then one up here at the very top in the left corner, right there. So pretty. Make every, You make every day a little brighter. What do you guys think of this card? And then on the inside, bring in those flowers to the inside. I think it's very pretty and fun, and I love these dies. So it's super fun to work with. All right, so that is card number one. Let's move on to the next card. Card number two is using the teacup from the set. I'm going to put some things away here, get them out of the way. Should need any of this stuff over here. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to have a piece of Pebbled Path cardstock that is cut five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Aw, thank you, Dana. That is so sweet. Okay, so I'm starting with a, like I said, a piece of cardstock, five and a half by four and a quarter, and scored at, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Five and a half by eight and a half. That's why I shouldn't read your sweet comments, is because I get all flustered. Um, but I like to read them. <laughs> Five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Pebbled Path is the color here. Then I have a piece of vellum that is three and a half by four and three fourths. And I'm going to actually add that right to the center here. Now, when you put adhesive on vellum, you want to put it in a place where it's not going to show once you put everything else on your card. So this is why. Can you see how you can see that adhesive through that vellum? Um, but it's going to be okay because everything else is going to cover that part up, okay? I have a piece of wild wheat cut three and a quarter by four and a half. Three and a quarter by four and a half. I kind of rushed that. Um, and then I have that's going to go, see, right in the center there, and you won't see the adhesive from the vellum. Um, and then I have three pieces of that stippled uh, designer series paper, and um, they're all cut three inches by one inch, one inch by three inches, okay? So I'm going to take these strips, and I'm going to add them to this wild wheat. I think it should go like that. Um, I'm going to put one down here at the bottom, about an eighth of an inch all the way around, and then I'm going to put the other two up here at the top and leave a little space, there we go, in between them. So I'll go about a half, 
eighth of an inch down. Oh my goodness. There we go, right like that, okay? Now this piece is going to go right here in the middle of my vellum. So I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive and add that onto my card. Right there. Then I have a piece of that um, detailed twine that comes with the Earthen Texture Suite. It is called, let me get the exact name here, Wavy Trim. So it has texture to it. It feels very jute-like. That's a word. Is jute-like a word? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is just add a thin strip of glue right there. Um, and then I'm doing three cards today. I know you guys got me used to, got used to me only doing one because when I was doing my 30 days of Facebook Lives, I only did one. But today, I'm back to my online card classes to go, and um, we're making three. Okay, so I've got that jute twine right there, and I'm just going to actually set it off to the side here put a block on it to kind of wait for that to dry. Okay, I have two more circles that I've cut from those everyday detailed dies. This is the inside of one of the double circles, and this one is two and a half inches wide. Isn't it fun how those circles are cut around the edge there? And then I've got one of the planar labels that is one and a half inch circle, okay? Right. So on this one, I'm going to stamp inside it my teacup. Right like that. And then on this small one, I'm going to stamp my sentiment that is wishing you so much joy on this special day but I'm gonna stamp it on pebbled in pebbled path ink. Now, the circle looks really small for the sentiment, but it does fit. It does fit, okay? So I'm gonna stamp that, cross our fingers. There we go, isn't that pretty? Okay, so now on the teacup, I'm gonna go back to my pool party ink. I'm going to ink up the teacup in Pool Party. There's a little spot right there that's teacup and in between these flowers right there. Okay, get the handle. Woohoo! There we go. Gonna add a little dark. Some of my edges here. There we go. There's my teacup in pool party. I'm gonna grab my um, Calypso Coral again and let my main flower here be in Calypso Coral. This card that I'm making is, I think, has, feels very, um, what do I wanna say? I hate to use the word old fashioned because that sounds like outdated. Um, antique maybe is a good word for it. Okay, so I added the dark just to the inside and now I'm just gonna go back over it with the light again and kind of blend that all together. There we go. And lastly, I have some winter, winter wheat, wild wheat. <laughs> I've told you guys before why I call that winter wheat. It's because my husband 
grew up on a farm and they grew winter wheat. So I always want to say winter wheat instead of wild wheat. But you guys know that about me. Okay, so wild wheat here on my leaves. Um, that is just to try to bring in the wild wheat from the background a little bit. Let me add a little detail to my leaves here. And maybe a little wild wheat in the center of the flower. Okay, so basically that is my teacup. I decided to add some pebbled path to the bottom here to just add a little bit of shadow under my cup. Like that, all right? Okay, so I'm back to my card front here. I'm gonna pop this up right there, okay? So let me grab some dimensionals. It's always hard for me to decide which one is my favorite, so maybe you guys can help me decide that when, you, um, when I'm done with all three. This is card number two. So if you want to know about upcoming events and classes that I'm having, the best way to do that is to be on my email list. So if you would like me to add you to my email list, let me know and um, just send me, DM me your address. Um, I always put a link or try to in the description after my video is done. Facebook won't let you put a lot of links in your um descriptions before you start your video. You have to go back in and edit it afterwards. So I will be sure and do that. Wishing you so much joy on this special day. Um, a friend of mine's grandma just turned 92 and I think I'm going to send her this card. Isn't that precious? Um, and then on this one, I decided just to add some of our brass butterflies. I'm going to put the larger one right here, kind of going this direction, a small one up here, and then another little one kind of right here above my sentiment right there. Okay, now for the inside of this one, I did something very simple. I've got a piece of basic white, um, and in this case, I cut it a little smaller by four, uh, then four by five and a half. And the reason why is that my strips were only three and seven eighths inch long. And I wanted them to go side to side. You could easily do four by five and a half again. But I took our little cross hatch pieces here. And I'm going to grab. Hi, Laura Kemp. Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I love it when you're here. Um, Dana's here. Cindy's here. Mary's here. I want to make sure I'm not missing. Roz is here. Sherry's here. Brenda's here. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Okay, so, and I'm sure there's a lot of people here that haven't told me they're here. If your name is Kay Wearer, um, you won our cards from last week. And those of you who won birthday uh, prizes, you should be getting them today if you haven't already. Um, so the, the mail says they're coming in the mail today. So, um, I hope you enjoy all the birthday surprises. So I'm just going up the edge of the inside of this card with those cross hatch pieces there in Calypso Coral. And I have two pieces that are one half by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to adhere that to the bottom edge of this card here. One right there. Clip that off at that edge. And here's another one. I'm going to put right above it. So it's going to kind of bring in the pieces that I put on the front of the card in rows like this. It's just going to add some cohesiveness to our 
card inside with the card outside, okay? And then, boop, add this to the inside of the card. Plenty of space to write beautiful things to your friends or a birthday message. And there we go. That is card number two. Card number two. All right, one more set here. And our last one involves that beautiful nest that is in this stamp set. This is the one I used for one of my cards in the 31 Days of Facebook Lives. So let me grab my packet here. I'm going to move some things out of my way so that I don't put hands in ink and mix up my post-it notes here. A lot of you out there have told me you really like when I put the measurements on post-it notes. So thank you for letting me know that. Um, sometimes I start things and I'm not sure how people feel about them. So those of you who've let me know that, thank you. That means a lot to me. Um, that means I should keep doing that going forward. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. So I have a piece of pool party. It is cut seven and a half by five and a half. So I just cut an inch off the width by five and a half and scored it at four and a quarter. So it's going to create this front card panel that is an inch short on the front, okay? Seven and a half by five and a half, scored it four and a quarter. <coughs> Next, I have a piece of crumb cake, cut three inches by five and a quarter, and that is going to go on this front panel right here. I'm using Seal Plus. Okay, so we have the Flight and Airy class coming up next week on Thursday. And then I have a bingo night coming up. If you enjoy playing bingo, I give away prizes that are not predetermined. Um, we, um, you get to choose what you want. I give you gift certificates. So this piece is that beautiful pool party piece of flowered paper, pool party in white, and I cut it two and three fourths by five inches, two and three fourths by five, and I'm gonna add that to the top of this crumb cake right here. Right like that. For the inside of the card, I have a piece of basic white four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna add a strip of that same designer series paper that is cut one inch by five and a quarter inches. Yeah, they should all be coming in today, Dana. If you wanna, if you want a gift, you should be getting it today sometime. And I'm gonna add that flush with the right edge of that basic white paper right there. Okay, and then I'm going to add that to the inside of my card here. Oh, thank you, Dana. I see that you're talking, I thought you were talking about one of the prize patrols. I don't know if you won one or not, but um, thank you. I'm glad it's easy to see and that you can um, follow the measurements along with me. Okay, so there's the inside of my card. So it's going to close like that. Before I um, go on to my stamping and coloring, I'm going to grab a piece of twine, linen thread. Thought I had it right here. Linen thread, linen thread. Hmm. We'll move on. I'll find it here in a second. I had some linen thread that I wrapped in here. Maybe I won't. Here, give me half a second here. I'll find it. Okay. So I have some linen thread. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple of pieces here. 
So I have two pieces of linen thread. I'm going to put it around my card here and tie it in a bow. Um, about a third of the way up from the bottom is where I decided to do it. So many strings here. Okay, there we go. Boop. All right. So there is my linen thread and my bow. I can mess with that more here in a second. Um, there we go. That's going to be okay right there. All right. Now this piece is the three and one quarter inch circle from the Everyday Dies. It is this largest circle right here is what I used. And I am going to stamp my nest in... Jeez, I must have had too much coffee this morning. I'm, I'm jittery for some reason. Um, stamp it right in the center there of that beautiful die. So lovely. These dies, I hope they bring them back into the main catalog because I do not want to live without them. Ever. I love them that much. <laughs> All right. So what are your favorite dies? Which ones do you use the most? I use stylish shapes, nested essential dies. I use my deckled rectangles and circles, um, all kinds of, um, what other dice do I have? Oh, the tailored tags I use a lot as well. Okay, so I'm going back to my pool party, light and dark, and that's what my eggs are going to be. So for my bingo night, I'm using the Sunny Days Designer Series paper that is in the celebration. I will provide that for you. I'll provide everything for you to make four cards. You'll get two bingo cards. Shipping is included in the price, which is $39. Um, you will have six chances to win bingos for prizes. And then I always make someone what I call the biggest loser, and they get the hostess rewards for the event. Um, so that's fun. So there's my eggs. Um, I'm going to do my nest in crumb cake. I'm going to start by coloring the whole nest in light. So think about coming to bingo night. You can do it from anywhere. We zoom you in. We all play together. It is super fun. Super, super fun. So um, I would love to have you join me. Make some fun cards. Play some bingo. All of that. Okay. And then I'm grabbing my dark. And I'm just adding some of those um Twigs. I'm just making them a little darker to give it some, some definition there. There we go. Right, I'm going to add some green on these leaves here. This is old olive again that I'm using. You could really use any green. Soft sea foam would be pretty as well. But spring is all about the blooming, right? The, the life. All right, and then I'm grabbing that dark crumb cake again. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to flick with my blend. Here's the, the brush tip. Here's my top. I'm going to flick some spots onto my circle and it's going to spot it, those eggs so they really look like robin's eggs give it some splatters there okay and it splatters everywhere that's okay and then i'm going to add this isn't that so so pretty okay come on you guys um give it some love hi monica hi jan yeah, I don't know why that keeps happening, <laughs> Jan. I don't know why balloons keep coming down. 
Um, it's a bit of a mystery to me right now, but I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I have no idea why that happened. So I don't know if someone is sending me balloons or what, but it's, it's fun. Yeah. I'll bring on the balloons. Okay, so here's my nest. It's kind of set right there. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, and then the last thing is I should have a piece right here, pool party. And this is the smallest of these nested essential dies. It is this in, most inside one here. And it doesn't cut circles. It just puts little dots around the edge. This ends up being seven eighths of an inch by two and a quarter inch. So if you want to make the label without the, um, you know, without the dies, that's what you would need to cut it at. Okay. You should get the dies though, because they are pretty awesome. All right. So here's my label and inside that I am going to stamp with crumb cake ink. Thank you, Sherry. Um, overjoyed for you in this new journey beautiful for babies for sure retirement um, any kind of new journey someone is approaching um, there we go overjoyed for you in this new journey I like how the crumb cake looks on the pool party that was a bit of a uh, of a uh, experiment for me and I I kind of like it I tend to always do black on colored cardstock and not use a color. Okay, so I'm putting a seal just on the leftmost side of my sentiment here because I don't want it to glue into the inside of the card right here. So there we go. How pretty is that? And then I'm going to go back to those dots that I used on the last card. Um, but I'm going to pick up the pool party ones here. And put one maybe over here. One kind of beside it right there. And one in this upper corner over here. All right, so that is card number three. So let me pull out these cards for you all of them so you can see what they all ended up looking like they're all gorgeous you guys you really cannot go wrong with this everyday detailed stamp set and dies to be honest i overlooked it at first and then um started seeing some things people were creating and i'm like those are gorgeous uh, i have to have it and so it, i think it's quickly become one of my favorites. So which one is your favorite? I have to do a swap using this stamp set and dies here in the next couple weeks. And I would love to hear from you on which one you like the best. Um, so someone said, Dana said number three, thank you. Um, Patience says she loves the teacup. Hi Patience, I didn't know you were here. Um, so number one is with the vase, number two is with the teacup, and number three is with the uh, the nest. So let me know which one is your favorite. I'm going to do one of them for a swap, and any of these would be super simple to do for swaps. So let me know. Give me your opinion. You won't hurt my feelings by not voting for another one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move my camera up and around here. There we go. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I love it when you're here. Think about joining either my Flight and Airy card class next week or the Bingo Night on February 29th. It'll be the last night you can get celebration thanks. So think about joining me and maybe earning some bingo prizes and stamping with me via Zoom with my ladies that are here in person. So God bless everybody. I'll see you next Monday. I'll be right here at 12 noon. Bye-bye. Oh, there we go.